everyone this is Kalpana here in this video we are going to solve a given differential equation which is reducible to xz so let's get going problem solve 1 plus xy into x dy plus 1 minus xy into y dx equals to 0 solution given differential equation One plus x y into x d y plus one minus x y into y d x equals to zero. Consider the given equation as equation one. Again, you can rewrite it as y. Firstly, we'll write the function, sorry, the term involving differential d x. Y into one minus x y. That is function of x y into d x. Plus the term involving differential d by x into function of x y into d y equals to zero, right? Which is in y into function of x y into d x plus x into some function of x y into dy equals to 0 form. Okay, now comparing 1. With mdx plus ndy equals to 0. We get m equals to y into 1 minus x y and n equals to x into 1 plus x y. If the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of m with respect to x, then we can say that the given differential equation is an exact equation. So now let's find the partial derivative of m with respect to y and the partial derivative of n. Partial derivative of m with respect to y and partial derivative of m with respect to x. We are having m equals to y times 1 minus x y which is equals to y into y, y minus x y into y y square. Let's find the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equals to dou y dou y of for m equals to y minus x y square. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so here x will be treated as constant. This equals to partial derivative of y with respect to y minus partial derivative of second term with respect to y. This equals to partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1 minus constant into partial derivative of y square with respect to y which is equals to 1 minus x into partial derivative of y square with respect to y is 2y. This is equals to 1 minus 2xy. Right? Now, consider n, n equals to 1 minus, this is your n, right? x into 1 plus xy. This is equals to x into 1, x plus x into x, x square into y. Find dou n by dou y, not dou y, dou x. Partial derivative of n with respect to x. This is equals to partial derivative of n, that is x plus x square y with respect to x. This is equals to, since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x, so y will be treated as constant. This is equals to partial derivative of first term with respect to x plus Partial derivative of second term with respect to x is equals to partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1 plus constant into partial derivative of x squared is equals to 1 plus y into partial derivative of x squared with respect to x is 2x which is equals to 1 plus 2xy. 
So it's clear that the partial derivative of m with respect to y is not equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x. Therefore, partial derivative of m with respect to y is not equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. From this we can say that 1 is non-exact. Okay. Now find mx minus ny is equals to for m equals to y minus x y square into x minus n this is your n right x plus x square y into y equals to y into x x y minus x y square into x is x square y square minus x into y x y minus into plus minus x square into y into y is x square y square. So here plus x y minus x y gets cancelled this equals to minus minus x square y square minus x square y square is minus 2 x square y square which is not equals to 0. Therefore mx minus n y equals to minus 2x square y square which is not equals to 0. Since mx minus n y is not equals to 0 so 1 by mx minus n y will be our integrating factor. Right. right. Now, the given equation is reduced to exact equation by multiplying it with this integrating factor. Minus 1 by 2x square y square into 1 plus xy into x dy plus 1 minus xy into y dx equals to 0. Consider it as equation 2. Then multiply equation 2 with minus 2 on both sides. Then we will get minus of minus 2 by 2x square y square into x into 1x plus x into x x square y dy plus 1 into y y minus x y into y y square x y square into dx equals to 0 then 2 gets cancelled minus into minus plus this becomes 1 by x square y square into firstly write the term involving differential dx y minus x y square into dx plus the term involving differential dy x plus x square y into dy equals to 0. Now we can write it as y minus x y square into dx plus x plus x square y into dy by x square y square equals to 0. 
since we are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator, so we can split the total expression into two terms. We are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator. So we are going to express the total expression into two terms. Then y minus x y square by x square y square into dx plus x plus x square y y x square y square into dy equals to 0. Right. So, here you are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator. So, we will split this into two terms. Then, y by x square y square minus x y square by x square y square into dx plus here also you are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator so we can split this into two terms x by x square y square plus x square y by x square y square into dy equals to 0. Right. One y gets cancelled, y square gets cancelled, one x gets cancelled, one x gets cancelled, x square gets cancelled, 1 y gets cancelled. This becomes 1 by x square y minus 1 by x into dx plus 1 by x y square plus 1 by y into dy equals to 0 which is in m1 dx plus n1 dy equals to 0 form. 1 by x square y minus 1 by x 1 by x y square 1 by y right. Where m1 equals to 1 by x square y minus 1 by x and and 1 equals to 1 by x y square plus 1 by y. If the partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of m1 with respect to x, then we can say that the reduced equation, that is equation 2, which is obtained by multiplying integrating factor to the given equation is an exact equation. Okay, so let's find the partial derivatives of m1 with respect to y and n1 with respect to x. First, we will find the partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is equals to partial derivative of m1 for m1 equals to 1 by x square y minus 1 by x since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y so here x will be treated as constant this is equals to partial derivative of cos term with respect to y minus partial derivative of second term with respect to y is equals to here 1 by x square is constant, so you can write this as 1 by x square that is constant into partial derivative of 1 by y with respect to y minus 
here yeah, 1 by x is constant, so partial derivative of a constant with respect to y is 0 is equals to 1 by x square into partial derivative of 1 by y with respect to y is minus 1 by y square, which is equals to minus 1 by x square into y square is x square y square. Therefore, partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is Minus 1 by x square y square. Now let's find the partial derivative of n1 with respect to x. Do n1 by do x equals to do by do x of n1 for n1 1 by x y square plus 1 by y is equals to here we are doing partial derivative with respect to x. So here y will be treated as constant, right? Partial derivative of first term with respect to x plus partial derivative of second term with respect to x. So here 1 by y square is constant. You can write this as constant into Partial derivative of 1 by x with respect to x plus partial derivative of a constant with respect to x is 0 is equals to 1 by y square into partial derivative of 1 by, y, 1 by x with respect to x is minus 1 by x square is equals to minus 1 by x square y square. Partial derivative of n1 with respect to x. Do by, okay. We got partial derivative of n1 with respect to x is minus 1 by x square y square, right? So, from this we can say that, therefore, do m1 by do y equals to minus 1 by x square y square, which is equals to do n1 by do x. Since partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is equals to partial derivative of n1 with respect to x. From this we can say that 2 is exact. So we have reduced the given equation to an exact equation. Using integrating factor 1 by mx minus n1. Okay, fine. So now we need to find the general solution of the given equation. So the general Solution of equation 2 that is an exact equation will be the general solution of the given equation. The general solution of one is given by we know that. The general solution of exact equation is given by integral over x, exact equation in the sense m1 dx plus n1 dy equals to 0. Integral over x, m1 dx plus integral of terms of n1 free from x into dy equals to c. So firstly, let's find integral. We are going to evaluate the first integral. Here we will be integrating m1 with respect to x treating y as constant. equals to integral 
prem 1 1 by x square y minus 1 by x into dx this equals to integral 1 by x square y into dx minus integral 1 by x dx which is equals to 1 by y is constant so you can write constant outside the first integral 1 by y into integral 1 by x square dx minus integral 1 by x dx since we know that 1 by x power n equals to x power minus n so you can write 1 by x square as x power minus 2 into dx minus integral 1 by x dx. We know that integral x power n dx equals to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus integral constant c for n not equals to minus 1 and Integral 1 by x dx equals to log mod x plus integral constant, right? So, this equals to 1 by y into, for n equals to minus 2, which is not equals to minus 1, we can apply this formula. You'll get x for minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 minus integral 1 by x dx is log mod x. is equals to 1 by y into x power minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 minus log mod x is equals to 1 by y into minus 1 by x since x inverse can be written as 1 by x right minus log mod x Is equals to minus 1 by x into y x y minus log mod x. Now consider the second integral. Integral of terms of n1 free from x into dy. We are having n1 equals to 1 by x y square plus 1 by y, right? So, the terms of n1 which is free from x is 1 by y. This equals to 1 by y into dy equals to log mod y. Now, coming to the general solution of the given equation. The general solution obtained for equation 2 will be the general solution of 1, right? Therefore, the general solution of 1 is result obtained from the first integral minus 1 by xy minus log mod x plus result obtained from the second integral plus log mod y equals to integral constant c. You can write this as log mod y minus log mod x minus 1 by x y equals to c. Now, log y minus log x minus 1 by x y equals to c. Since we know that log a minus log b equals to log a by b. Then, log y minus log x can be written as log y by x minus 1 by xy equals to c or by taking LCM, xy will get xy log y by x minus 1 equals to c. Then, x, y 
log y by x minus 1 equals to c into xy. Which is the required general solution. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from non-exact equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.